Hi, this is Alex from VPA State Development Team and today I'm going to try to explain you how to work with the child team and our uh, team VP Residence. Before starting, you may want to like this video and you may want to subscribe to our channel in order to receive alerts when we release new things like this one. The best way to create customization to an WordPress team is to do them via a child team. If you decide to modify the original team files, these changes will be overwritten anytime you do an update of that team. And you may need to do an update because new feature are released or a security patch is released. If you are doing these changes in a child team, then those changes will remain there forever or until you deactivate it. So that's why it's very important to do all custom changes to a team via child team. This is a development website located on my personal development environment, which is hosted on my computer. So it's just a classic VP residence demo with the main demo imported. Now we're going to go and activate the child team. The child team is present in your Team Forest package. Now that the child team is activated, let's refresh the main site. Now that the site is refreshed, you see that nothing happens. This is because the child team is uh, actually a blank team. It has no code in it. And uh, it's our job to add custom code in there and see those changes appear. So let's start. Um, this is my development environment. It's a Visual Studio. And this is the already opened uh, files for child team. And you have a blank functions file. It's not actually blank, but uh, there, this is the default code you have in a child team, and you have the style CSS from the child team, which is blank. Okay, so let's get started with something simple. Let's, for example, change the color of the footer. I know you can do that in via theme options, but let's do it via child team CSS. So click, right click, uh, inspect element, and you, the development console will open. This is uh, any browser have, uh, I usually work with Chrome, so I recommend Chrome. And if you click again, right click, inspect, you will see that, okay, this is the HTML div that keep the footer. And you will see that uh, colophon has the background color of 2C, 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 okay, the hexacolor. And if I change that to, I don't know, so this color, this crazy color, and uh, this is just click copy. This is what I'm trying to achieve. Let's just change the color. And I'm going to child team uh, in the style CSS and click save. And now I'm going to refresh the page. Okay, so you see that the new color is already present there. I'm click inspect element again. And if you go here, you'll see that the path to the style CSS is the one from the child team. So now the browser, the WordPress will serve uh, the, style CSS, the style CSS found in child team. So this is the, the simplest thing you can do with the child team, just changing the, some CSS colors, some background colors. Okay, so let's just uh, let's change another uh, thing via child team CSS. Let's say we want to change the font size and color of the title here. Uh, again, right click. And you see, okay, feature probably the type three, the font size, if you increase that. And I'm just copying this is just, it's, you can type it, but it's much more easier to copy. Click here. Save. Okay, after refresh, you see font size 22 pixel. Let's close this. So again, uh, modifying the CSS, this is the simple and the best uh, way to do it. So this is the end of part one. And in this video, I explained to you how you can work with CSS code and CSS file in a child team. In the next part, we'll cover more complicated subjects like uh, how to work with templates, how to work with functions, and how to deal with JavaScript, all in the child team. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to receive alerts about our newest videos. And if you have questions, please post them in the comment section. Have a wonderful day.